fishing folks come check it out right there nice chunk pre-spawn nice chunk we got a couple over in that direction those could be bass though 50 60 feet Just kind of like mull around. Yo, what's up? We're gonna be live crappy fishing here for the next, uh, I don't know, not sure how many hours, but enough to, enough to have fun here. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time. This little pond is loaded with crappy. I think there's a couple of bass right there. Oh, I missed them again. Got seven people on, more than that probably. Oh. These crappies are so I am not on Lake Sunapee. I don't even know if this, there's a crappie in Lake Sunapee. Maybe there is. No, there's rock bass in there. Massive school of crappie in front of me. They are super balled up right now. What's up, Leith? Huge school of crappy in front of me. I'm in uh, Hillsborough County, New Hampshire. Huge mega school. 70 that way. And they're right on their heads. Missed them by a little bit here. I'm gonna push you guys up that way a little bit more. Got a mega school right in front of me here. Almost no wind. And this appears to be either a bigger crappie underneath them or probably a bass if I was to guess. So 50 feet. Right in their heads. Oh, I missed them. Missed them. They are super balled up, like in a tight, tight ball, which is weird for this place. Probably because they're about to be pre spawned, or well, they are pre spawned. If I can get right on him here. Just went right through him and nobody cared. What the heck? I have fished Lake Mascoma before. I ice fished it and didn't catch nothing. Um, but it was like negative 22 degrees out and miserable, so. Oh, I just spoke to bass. Silly. That's silly right there. Oh, 
popping off. So they're getting chased by bass. That's why they're freaking out. There's literally a bass eating the crappie that I'm looking at right now. That's why they're freaking out. Dumped it. Whoa. Monster crappy. You. Whoa. That's a freaking beast right there. I'll have to get the bump board out here in a minute. But usually a school is good for like four or five fish. And then I gotta go find another school. He's smarting up. Tankosaurus compared to my face. It's right against my face, folks. Crapsters. Now they're behind me. They just peaced out. Peaced out, Girl Scout. Crappy fishing is always good, no matter what time of year. Fall, spring, summer. Summer can be a little difficult just to find them, but once you find them, you're pretty all set. And I am running guided crappy tours, if you guys are interested. Four hours two people on possibly this pond if I find them good enough here today. Oh, there's another school at 90. They're right on the surface. What is that? Oh, there's some cabbage or weeds over there. Some weed mats have come loose. I just started the live, so that was my second crappie. One for the one for the intro photo, and then uh, that one I just caught. I literally just got here ten minutes ago. Oh, there's another school right there. Could be the same school that hightailed it out of here. We'll see. See if we can sneak up on them. Fifty feet that way. Crappy are great eating. Or fresh fish fries. I am using uh, the Winnie kit. This is a seven mil tungsten with a two inch paddle tail on it. And uh, if you Click in the video here, you should be able to see that, that as a for sale item, basically. Everybody always asks that question, 50 feet that way. They're not in the super chasey mood today, which is fine. I have other options. There's also a bass chasing them right now. Oh, I dropped him. I saw him eat it too. Oh, here he comes. 
Got him. That could be a bass, actually. Feels like a bass. No, it's a big crappy. Big crappy. Changing the steer in the boat. Tank. Tank crappy. Hogs right there, folks. Hogs. Hogs, hogs, hogs. I am not telling you what lake I'm on, but if you want to come to this lake with me on a guided trip, let's do it. Beast. And water temp's 50 degrees already here, which is sweet. And this lake does not get very deep, so I'm not worried about bear trauma. It's only, uh, I won't even tell you how deep it is. That's how nervous I am about people fishing this because it's so small and close to my house. I have another one really, really close to my house. It has some big ones, but most of them are small. to smash through those crappy again. What? That was sweet. And I wish I could figure it out. I mean, there is a way for you guys to see this screen and my face at the same time. I don't know how to do it without bringing a laptop out here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. I just missed the bass. I really want to catch the bass to get him out of here. He's spooking my crappies. Pulled my tail down, that's why. They are right here. Off my bio. Oh, oh, oh. Golly, that's huge. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Boat flipping slob dinner plate crappie. Oh my goodness, folks. Look at that thing just choked that Jake and barely even see it. I am fishing in uh, 18 feet of water right now. I'm going to go get the bump board, see how long this fish is. A thirteen and a half or gonna get my hand drying rag out. I've seen crappy in sixty feet of water, so it depends on what water body you're on and it depends on the water temperature where they'll be. In the fall they tend to stack up when the water's hot, especially in summer too. Depending on the lake, I have seen them up shallow when it's hot out, and most of the time they're down deep. They don't like being super hot. Oh, I would say I just lost my school, but I just found them again. They're right off my bow. No chasers on that one. One more cast on the school and then I'll I'll leave him alone. 
but I'm always casting over them and bringing the jig right over the top of their heads. All right, one more cast. They're not spooking yet. Yeah, you can catch a peep. I, my PB is actually out of this pond, I think. 15 something. Actually, no, my PB is out of uh, Sebago Lake, actually. Oh, he nipped it. Hold my tail down. Shortening my bait a little bit. And you don't want to get too close to these crappy old spook them. Here is the, to be, and I've kind of confirmed this ice fishing, that big fish will be together and then medium fish will be together and then small fish will be together. Yes, they'll, you will find like some big ones mixed in with small ones. And none of these fish are caught up, which means they're not ready for spawn yet. It should be getting there, it's 50 degree water temp. They disappeared on me. Finally a fishing channel. Heck yeah. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been trying to get out and do this video. I tried to do it during ice fishing season and then when I actually came here, the ice wasn't safe. And I didn't want to fall through on live because that would suck. But what's nice about live is this is getting broadcasted to the world, which is nice. And I'm gonna be right back for a second here. All right, I'm back. Just wanted to share it on Facebook. And sometimes not in this lake that I found. There's another lake I fish for crappy that there'll be one giant fish roaming by itself. And I see one right now. Oh, he just spoke. It's probably a bass. There's a couple off my bow too. Got some bat, uh, some big um, perch in here too. Gonna take me a minute to find another school. Well, there is a fish below me that looks really decent. Hold on. Hold on. I think I see a school 100 feet away. All right, tell me where you guys are all from. What state you're from. I know some of you are from New Hampshire. And the sun's like glare right at the top of my head here. Otherwise, I have a... Probably don't even need my sunglasses, actually. What better you guys to see my face? Could be up shallow in the, the trees right now, but I haven't checked yet. 
I'll bring you guys up a little bit taller here. There we go. some trees over here that I want to cast into, but I don't think they're going to be up in the trees quite yet. With well, a water temp of 50. Once it gets like 55, 60, they start getting spawny like. And I don't like losing jigs, which is the other reason I'm casting the trees. check anyways tree right there oh yeah there's some fish suspended off of it pretty sure I'm gonna go stand on the bow here hold on They're not in the trees yet. Still out deep. Oof. That was huge, whatever that was. Not sure if that's a fish or a log. He's chasing it. He's chasing it, whatever it is, it's huge. Oh yeah, it's a big bass. Big bass, all right, just went right in those trees. All right, we're not chasing bass right now. Get distracted very easy, you guys can tell. Put this on autopilot home. Gotta drink some water, man. I got roasted the other day. I think those are bass. Two seconds here. Wow, they spook. There is a jumbo fish in that direction. Hold on. Hold on. Got him. No way, that's not a bass.
Nice largemouth. <laughs> Freaking out. Not a giant by any means, but when he kept pin right in his mouth, thumped it. Thumped it going back in. Definitely, I was seeing bass. Another one right there. Gotta find those crappy schools. got one person on I know it's like midday here but this is one of the videos I don't want to edit so that's why I'm going live Thing is, oh, it's two bass. The bass are super spooky in this lake. That's weird. I know people fish it with ice fishing with shiners. I've never seen any other boat out here ever. Might have to fire up the gas motor and put around and find these fish here. area though. Usually, usually, usually. Got a couple people on here. It's good. And we're using the Tarova to power us around. It's when the controls underneath my foot, which is nice about the wired models. I am hands-free except for the pole, which I'm soon to upgrade again. And if I miss these fish panning, I really won't see them. Like right the only way to be like effective to catch these guys is to like troll a couple of like spider rigs kind of off the back of the boat. Which I've done before. Yeah, we'll find them up shallow today. We'll see.
keep searching. Could be a pile of them down there squished to bottom, I don't know, so let's drop down and see. Of course now the wind picks up. and stuff down there. It's like weeds at the bottom of uh, 16 feet. They're definitely not rocks. Which I've, I've never seen on, uh, on a ice fish deer before. Just interesting. I don't know what it is. Every time I catch a bass, my hands start to itch. I'm like I'm allergic to them or something. Found something. Could be carpet perch, plankton perch. the big motor here and uh motor around here it's taking taking too long let that warm up for a second and then we'll putter if you guys got any questions ask away I had nothing to do today but fish. up to like five miles an hour with this pole here and power scope fish. I use the same technique for lake trout. Slam it in reverse, spot on spot lock.
Now I have been to another lake like this where they were all, it was in the, I think it was a fall. They were all up on a shallow flat and like three feet of water, which is great if I can see them. Drove over a couple of bass. So bass just look different though, like more um, round shape in their return. Like little balls. I didn't think I was going to have to power power search for these guys today. Now I have been to a pond like this before, a bigger place, and I was spooking them with the gas motor. So I ended up having just to stay still and wait for them to come to me. It was a long day, but they ended up catching a bunch of big ones. I just see. Oh, I think I, oh, I found them all. I found them all. Oh, I found them stacked, guys. I found them stacked. Oh my goodness, it's a mega school. It's a mega school. Let's see if we can get broadside to him here. Mega school of crappy. And I'm staying anywhere between 50 to 80 feet away from these fish. Mega school of crappy. smoked. Very weird. Oh, he's been on there for a while. Not a very big one. This is probably one of those smaller schools. Still an eater, for sure. For sure. Nice crapsters. Sixty feet that way. And I messed that cast up because I swung around there. Cast them on the back side of a. Uh, it is not raining, it's just a little bit chilly with the wind here. Sixty. Oh my goodness, just the slightest little bite.
it's another bigger fish. My drag is pretty locked down and it just pulled drag for a second there. Don't jump, don't jump. Boat flipping 12 inches. Pretty, pretty fish. Back us up a little bit. If you guys want to come do this, let me know. It is super fun, and you can keep a couple, obviously. I would never let anybody keep their, you know it's the legal right to keep a limit in this lake. 25 is a ton of fish. Get him. Giant, giant. Gain some line back on this guy here. Feisty guy running into the side of the boat. Boat flipping giants. Hello from England. How's it going? Do you guys have a uh, crappy over in England? Uh, we can also call them calico bass. It's not a very common name here, but it does have one of those names. It is in the uh, basically a panfish. I'm not sure what family it's in actually. Giants. We were using the same plastic still. And there's not enough wind to use spot lock. That was graceful. Right there, 50-ish. Right on them. There's a bass right below them. I'm gonna see if I can catch the bass. Come on, bass. Come on. Oh, he dove down after it. Negative. Bass fishing because we don't have the new air. Ah, oh, I gotcha. You guys got big wells catfish, right? Is that England? I just, I'm not too familiar with the geographic on that side of the pond there. 50 feet that way. Missed him. The school is so, thank you for subscribing. School is so tight together right now. You little buggers nipping at it. I think they've caught on to me already. Big cats, carpet pike. I got you. Yeah, we got pike too. Uh, not so much in this state, but uh, other other state all around us have pike except for ours. Hold down my tail. Just keep shortening the bait.
These guys aren't very deep, so I gotta cast and then like instantly start reeling. No. Just missed every one of them there. Once I get lined up here, I'll take you guys off the tripod and show you this. Uh, the heck, let me just show you how big the school is right now. All those are crappy right there, the whole big school of them. Crappy mania. And I also have uh, slip bobbers with me today. Not sure if I have my bobber stops with me today, but I have slip bobbers at least. All right, fish on this cast, watch. Got him. Giant. Giant. An actual giant. Look at the size of that freaking thing. And I know it's hard to tell like scale and stuff. Let me show you this. Tea bottle, bigger than a tea bottle. Twelve and a half are perfect eater size right there. Giant. Unfortunately, now they're right underneath me, which means I need to drift off of them. But they absolutely love hitting stuff above them. Slamming them. Slamming them. You don't, you, ideally, I wouldn't drop them right on top of the school. Now watch this. They are right below me here. Three, two, three. They're gonna make me a liar. I was gonna do a three, two, one on that one. I tailing it out of here. Right towards a big bass.
Got him. He knew he was hooked before I knew he was hooked. Just slamming. Slamming 12 inch crappies. These are perfect eater size. Perfect eaters. Free spawn crappies. Also, there's that predator factor. Right? I'm catching fish, and they're sending off that distress signal. It also calls it bass. So we just saw a bass show up on the screen. Stay above them. Stay above them. Ooh. Putting the hammer on them, guys. Putting the hammer on them. First one to drop. Crapsters. School is still hungry though, which is good. Get up there. Back us up here. Gotta step, step into that one, that one's huge. And I should be fishing with ultra light rods today. Oh, he just ripped, I saw it rip out of his face. He was like another 13. Let's put around and find another school. So that's school number two that I've seen. Oh, something right underneath me. See if we can find another school.
second. Maybe I don't know where to go. Big old bass. Big old bass. Mmm. Found another school. Probably a school I've already hit, but let's hit them again. They are 75 feet that way. He was chasing me. He was chasing me. Gotta get a little bit closer to him. It's either a bass hammering him or... Hard to tell. Hard to tell. There's a log down there they're hanging right out on. They're acting like I can't see them, but I can see them all right. I am right on top of them. Bumped into one of them. <clears throat> Bait's finally done after like seven or eight grabbing. They don't want to bite. They don't want to bite, folks. Probably because I've hit them already. We'll try one more cast here. Now they're down deep.
Try to stay above them this time. All right, one more cast. I was right on them that time. Right on them. Right on them. Right. They're not interested in me. Let's go look for another school. find him. We'll find him. Doesn't hurt to troll your line out the back. Carp can't swim very fast, but they'll tag it if they swim it, you know, see it swimming past their face. I haven't caught any pickerel in here yet. These things are fierce. Uh, pickerel are our Esox family, our pike. Eastern chain pickerel is the full designation, but everywhere. And they get pretty big. 20 inches plus, 25. And our bigger legs, at least. Found a school. Found a school. Looks like a smaller group. I got right on them really fast. Trying to coerce one out of the school to come eat me. Nope. Right here, though. Oh, he pulled off. He was big, too. Dang, man, dang. Always stay on top of the fish. See, they, I, draw, I draw it right through them, and they wouldn't hit it. Well, we came out for it. Let's back up on them. Just cast it past them. Stay right on top of the ball of fish. Oh, yep, here comes one. Got him. Giant. Giant grappy. I am. They are 
right here. Come on, little guys. Oh, they just sulk right at the bottom here. They're spooking. It's never good. Now I can see them swimming away. I have to lead the target, just like shooting shooting shotgun. Oh yeah, they're they gone as I call it. They gone. Uh, I gotta get a charger for my phone. Every time I do live, I forget to charge the phone. Here we go. All right, let's go find some more fish. So that's three schools we found. So far, mostly on the uh, this half of the pond. It's supposed to be warm today, but it's not. A little chilly. Hey, whoever's on, comment. Make sure the comments are still turned on. Sometimes YouTube will, YouTube will turn them off. For whatever reason. I got some uh, Funky Fusion potato chips for lunch. Apparently my sunglasses are getting covered in fish slime. That's good. Putting around looking for fish. That'll be nice. over a big bass.
up on and say where you're from. We have people on from England, New Hampshire, I think, and Massachusetts. Wow, these bass are spooky. I, had a, I just had to saw a bass that's 10 feet down and 20 feet of water. Came across him in the boat and he disappeared. Very interesting. Let's go up shallow. in Michigan. I know you guys have crappy. For sure. And we're using LiveScope Plus, panning around looking for crappy in a small, small pond. So one of those ponds that was a, you know, a bucket fisherman. Livescope XR with me in the truck. I should have brought it. it. Takes two seconds to hook it up. We have some, we have, well, we have bluegill. We have a uh, oh, pumpkin sea too. It's just another variety of bluegill. Sunfish family. We do get some in the 10 inch range, trophy size. They are hard to catch though. Hard to find, not hard, like once you see them, they're not hard to catch. Stop and scan it. I don't appear to be up on it quite yet. Yeah, bluegill fight hard. They just like turn sideways and they like planer board themselves, which is pretty cool. They fight hard. These are like 12 to 13 to 14 inch crappy. They all fight hard. I should be using ultralight rods that I'm not today. I like slamming them, boat flipping them. Got a brand new lie down in front of us. Had a lot of storms this winter. I'm using the uh, tiller in conjunction with uh, Minn Kota Tarova on the front here. To uh, steer me towards those lie downs. We'll see them here in a minute. I don't know if there's going to be any schools of crappy back here. But we're running out of uh, water real estate here. We're in eight feet of water.
at least with the gas motor, I can go up shallower with the towing motor, of course. Uh, am I excited? No. I uh, I used to get excited for trot opener, and I just I just don't anymore. I don't I don't really bother with stock trot anymore. There appears to be some fish up here. Appears, appears, appears. If live scope would stop freaking out, that'd be nice. No, there could be just trees actually. Now there are a couple spots that are lake trout or that are trout ponds that I'd like to fish for other species in. I'm excited for that, but I don't usually target them opening day. Now that I'm doing the guiding stuff, I've been trying to spend a lot of time on uh, on big waters to get more spots under my belt, basically. They were just trees back there. They weren't fish. Um, I don't know. I've never eaten a wild trout, so... I should. Everybody says like wild brookies are the best. But I also don't eat a lot of fish, so. But I imagine they taste better. One's fed with like dog food and cat food or whatever they eat. Purina trout chow. I got live scope punched out to 135 feet. Sorry, I'm mess, messing with my sonar here. Messing with some settings. What else you guys got for questions? And where are you going? Well, you don't need to tell me where you're going opening day, but they've already started stocking a lot of trout streams, which are open. Actually, most of them are open, not all of them are open. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. Some might be open. I'm not seeing any schools of crappy back here. Oh, 
about to dump truck these chips here. It's like almost done. Giant bass. Who wants no part of me? He's hightailing it. Yeah, that was a big fish. Another big bass right there, actually, 30 feet. Plop right down on his head. Oh, I think he had it. Oh, he's all over it. Nope, changes mind. He nose down on it like this, you know. It's hard to tell. How do I describe that unless you've used a lot of live scope? Some of the bass right there, 60 feet away. All right, we, uh, sorry I'm not looking at you guys. I was trying to tackle a couple of bass there. My unit was just freezing up on me. I just did an update today, so don't expect pretty things. I'm gonna restart it real quick. Find some crappy. Go back and hit one of those schools we hit before.
What we're doing is we're power searching. We are up close. Hold on, I just ran into something. Came up quick there. There we go. I remind myself I just literally just beached my boat. There's like a little sandbar right there. If someone put a whole pile of rocks on it, conveniently. So that was fun. So what I was trying to say is we are power looking for fish. We got live scope aimed off at an angle. So what we're doing is we're hugging shoreline and looking out. They won't be up on shorelines quite yet just because it's water's not warm enough for them to spawn. They still might be in spawning mode, but none of them are colored up yet. And we're shooting live scope about 150 feet looking for big schools of crapsters. Black crappie, we don't have white crappie here in New Hampshire. Still looking. Still looking. We got five. Well, I don't. I don't believe the number that's on the screen there, so I can see how many people are on. Can you guys see how many people are on right now? If you can, comment the, the, the number below here. Uh, we're going to hit probably one or two more schools here, and then we'll go. I always have lots of stuff to do. This is just a nice weather day, and I had a short morning, so I couldn't make it out to the big lakes.
All right, it does sneak by, okay. I should do this at night. Well, I should do it like after work. Go crappy fishing or bullhead fishing at night. I'm sure there will be more people on. Oh, found the school. Found them. Turn the gas motor off, drop the motor. We're going fishing, we're going fishing. Right, oh, they're right next to me. But I hit something so hard with the freaking trolling motor that the, uh, the skag spun on me. All right, these fish are 80 feet that way, right underneath the surface, which is the worst. Cast the rate on them and they uh, they drop down here. All right, I gotta get closer there. 75, 80 feet away here. There we are, now we're close. Come on. So I've already, those of you who just hopped on, I've already hit the three schools that I know about in this, this lake. Good cast, good cast, good cast. Coming right over top of their heads. Yeah. Back is up. Fifty feet right there. Right on him again. Oh, he spit it out. Oh, oh, he's back on it. He's back on it. No. Freaking fish. There's a big bass underneath these fish, terrorizing them. And these are 12 inch plus crappy and there's a bass trying to eat them. Right, 
there, 40 feet. Oh. oh, here he comes. Oh, he was all over it, too. Pristine cast. We'll see. There's a bass that's pecking at him here. All right, I'm going to switch up colors here. some full-size chartreuse here and these are really old fish are at 25 feet away they're right next to me come on I think the bass left you, so now you guys can eat. Oh, 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 come on. Dang, those are some big fish. Big fish, smart big fish. Put on some a white one instead here. Sometimes just a color change, especially if you've already hit the school once, twice in my case probably. Right over there at 35. Easy today. What the heck? Let's get on the gas motor and look for another school. I do not waste my time unless I know they're big fish. I know those are big fish, but there's other big schools of fish in here. Big schools with big fish in them. That's what I'm trying to say. Jesus, a big bass in here. This is 
zigzagging back and forth looking for another school. And instead of me reaching over and panning with the live scope, I'm just zigzagging the boat to give me a a better image. Not a better image, a scanning image. Perch, glued right to bottom. folks not seeing them doesn't mean they're not there it just means they're up here somewhere they've all been down on this far corner for some reason Fish is always a pain in the butt. But once you find them, it's fun for a little while. Um, how big is the pond? I would say like 10 football fields. It's tiny. Like my boat just, just fits on the ramp here. It's not an improved ramp, just sand or dirt. I had to wear boots just to get into it. Like, you know, muck boots just to get in the water here. I won't give you the, I don't know the exact acreage and I wouldn't give it to you uh, just because it's so tiny. And I've told a couple people about it told me about it kind of and it would get cleaned out super fast if people were to to hammer it I practice catch and release I, I don't think I've ever actually taken any fish out of here There's no way, I don't know if that's shoreline, that's shoreline. Oh, I think I found, I found him, I found him, I found him. Different school, different school. Breaks. They are a hundred feet away from me.
they're also getting chased by bat. Uh, this is a natural lake, it appears to be. Sixty. Every school that I found out here is getting chased chased by bass, which is why the bite's not. Oh, the bass is hitting them right now. Not cool, bass. Circle life. I really hope these fish don't make me use a slip bobber and a worm. I do not want to rig one of those up right now. I am right next to a road if you guys can't hear the dump trucks going by every two seconds it seems like. Perfect cast right on top of these fish. Got one. Just the slightest bite ever. But a slob crappy, that's what I was looking for. Slob crops right there. Back in she goes. Fifty feet. These guys are so spooky today. So spooky. All right. They just got out of casting range, so I gotta go chase them down. Catch a couple more, then we'll head out here. We've been live for two hours, so I've been fishing for two hours. Going. Didn't even feel the bite on that one. I just picked up and he was on there. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely bigger too. Slabs. Slabs for days. Slabs for days. Look at the belly on that guy right there. Probably a girl full of eggs from the lighter color. Good cast, good cast, good cast. And missed it. Didn't miss. I was right on top of him. I just didn't want when I was throwing in front of him. I was trying to get on top of him again. Now, if you find that you're having trouble casting too black, they're being finicky about being cast too.
can't hear you all the way. I'm sorry. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Been on and off windy all day. Another one coming in hot right here. Got him. Oh my goodness, these guys fight so freaking hard for 12 inch fish. They just like go sideways and they planer board. Get you guys out of the wind here. Now the wind starts to pick up real bad. But thanks for tuning in. And uh, I don't know when I'm going to go live next. It's kind of a a treat to go live. It's usually got a place where I know I can catch fish and put on a good show for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to go back home and uh, edit a different video. And you guys will see a video, this video coming out tonight, uh, lake trout content. So stay tuned. If you want to kind of do this style of uh, crappy fishing, let me know at banditfishingbiz at gmail.com. Yeah, I caught a, bu a bunch more earlier today. It's just the school shut off when I, uh, when you start hammering them and their bass have been hammering them. So thanks for watching, guys.